permission to kind of like do the research. And not just do the research, but talk about it so we can see the connection. So this is considered the 50th year of hip hop, August 11th, 1973, right? At 50 Make some noise, y'all, come on. 50 years. Yeah, at 1527. But what you don't know, that that wasn't where everything came together. It started to come together with the clubs like Executive Playhouse, am I right, gentlemen? And the Hebrew, right? See, this is what I'm saying. You guys don't know what was happening. You just hear uh, 50 years of hip hop, but not know that it was 73, 74, 75, and then 76, 77. These are the guys that helped go to the first Who Hurt parties. So, first, the first award goes to the man on the mic. So when Hurt was too busy doing his thing, this guy got on the mic and says a clever things. He talked about the cars parked over there, but he was saying a rhyme. So he's considered the first MC of hip hop. Give it up for Pop the Rock! I'm the first G money man. I touch the deal better. Any type of weather, cold or hot, rain or not. I was born in the open, fought like a slave, stuck in a crack in his old coat, the rock lane. Ha! Ha! The rock, ladies and gentlemen! So I'm going to go down the line because they don't know how nerdy I am about these guys. I'm going to go down the line in order from what I hear. So this guy. I heard this guy used to jump over people when he would dance. He would go out there and for the kids, pull out a fallacy out of his back. I guess, you know, he was one of those first guys that really burn people. If you ever saw someone that burn people with their character and their dance, I mean, that's why his name is, give it up for Trixie. One of the first dancers at the Cool Herb parties. All right, up next. Now this guy's not from the Bronx. But he said, I heard about these parties at the Bronx. This guy's from Harlem. And he was like, Dance too. I can show what's up. I got some moves. Came to the party. First guy he saw was Trixie. <laughs> First guy he saw was Trixie. And it was like, I'm a tester. You know, there's different how they used to battle before, too. It was a little bit closer to the Rocky, but each guy would have the whole song. They would have a whole song and then. And then put another song and then they go at it. But this guy, after battling Trixie, maybe he got burned, maybe he didn't. <laughs> but he was a regular and he held the foundation for the next passage I'll talk about. Give it up for Dancing Doug! So then he said, 
When I take out the sperm, now I'm gonna dance. And not just dance, I'm gonna go to the floor. I'm gonna use the double joint and go into the floor. Doing this move, boom. I'm gonna flip that move 10 million times. And because of that, he burn tricks me by cutting the phallus signal. <laughs> and then, it was either Coke or Herc said, that is a B-boy. And he's A1. Give it up for B-boy A1 Sasa. Folks want to really flip everything. Everything to flip all the moves. B-boy Sasa, A1. Said, I want to dance them. Yo, make some noise, y'all. Come on. He was Sasa. All right. Last but not least, to continue the legacy that came out of the Executive Playhouse and the Kimono. To keep going and really come with that character. And since they were twins, it was dope to put the teams together and show out. Looking smooth and clean. And these guys were, you guys are the youngest out of these guys, right? You guys are the youngest. So right after them is what we start to see, what we see here today. So last of all, go to the legendary twins. Here are the first generation cool work with party rockers. Give it up for the OGs, y'all.